Over time, one can become overwhelmed by the spectacle of this city. The clockwork rhythm of this city is a testament to its technological achievements. It is a shining example of a city fully embracing digital modernity. Yet, whenever the mirage of K-pop glamour and monolithic advertisements seem endless, whenever commuting becomes too monotonous, and when the city seems to become a neon labyrinth, I begin to seek the more simple offerings of soul. I find it incredible that in the heart of such a modern city, one can so easily be transported to the past. Though it could be considered almost theme park-like, what does one really do here except wander around and allow themselves to drift into the past? Escape the chaos of the city by pretending to be part of another time? As we wander further into the palace halls, a magpie lands before us, and it reminds me of all the folk tales that come from this country. Sometimes it's beautiful to just get lost in somebody else's religion. As an expat, there are times when you crave the comforts of home. There are an endless amount of places to get a meal in this city, but when you find that place that makes you feel welcome and comfortable, you know you've found something special, and family-owned places like this tend to radiate with that warm feeling of being back in a familiar place. restaurants with their fresh ingredients 
and affordable dishes are sort of the antithesis of a TGI Fridays. Locals and foreigners alike typically accompany their dinner with a hearty amount of soju. But tonight we opted for a somewhat sweeter selection, known as choma. It's her favorite. Here's the master chef herself to show you how it's done. At the end of the meal, toss all the leftovers into one bowl and finish it up.